marketing. I'm joined by Tony Appleton and Ivor Spencer. Ivor is the founder of the Town Crying School. Ivor, how did it all start? Well, it's very popular at the moment, Town Crying, and I thought it should be done professionally. And it's a very old age profession. I mean, it goes back thousands of years. Wow. So I thought, I'll start a school, but I need a headmaster. And I was told that Tony Appleton was the very best. And I understand now, and I've seen him in action, he's the very best in the world. So he's my headmaster. That's a nice compliment, that Tony, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so it makes me feel really big-headed. There's <laughs> <laughs> nothing wrong with that, I mean, nothing wrong with that. So you're heading the school. What kind of people come to, you, to approach you to be a town guy? Um, unemployed people, people, actors, out-of-work actors. Out-of-work actors? Out of work, yeah. So, uh, if I'm out of work, then I can give you a call, or what? Well, that's right, you've got a chance, yeah. <laughs> but um, all walks of life, company yeah. directors um, who are looking to make an extra money, obviously they've got to have the projection to be able to do it. Uh -huh. So, do you think I can make the grade? Well, I think you've got potential. Right. I sure. Think, yes, I think I think there's definitely potential there. Yeah. Okay. So lovely. I'll be seeing you shortly. And I've been good, good luck, Kevin. Cheers. Thank you. Pleasure. Morning, ladies and gentlemen. Now that Kevin's arrived, the first thing we need is an outfit. Here we go. And I'll show you the traditional way to put it on. So Tony, you've got me outfit on. What do you think? Not bad, Kevin. Not bad. But um, you ruffle. It's oh. straight. Right. Okay. And your hat's cool. back to front. You what? Your hat is on back to front. Like that? Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. All right, okay. You're all ready to go. Yeah. Your shoes are okay. I feel great. Yeah, you look really good. Thanks. Yeah, and, uh, yeah you're up all. I'll just go and see how the others are getting okay. on, okay? After helping the group dress in the traditional way, Tony moves on to demonstrating his rather terrifying town cry. From the diaphragm, otherwise we'll lose our voices. Listen to me. Ho yay! Ho yay! Ho yay! Okay, now let me hear you do it. Ho yay! The course deals with all aspects of becoming a successful town crier, including dress code, voice projection, walking, and of course the bell ringing, which is apparently all in the wrists. Watch me. Right, now let's see you do it. OK, there's only one way to find out whether or not I am fit to be a town crier. Tony, are we ready to be unleashed on the streets? OK, gang, let's follow me. Let's come this way. Town criers are now in demand by local businesses who pay healthy fees for them to advertise their wares out on the streets. So the course's popularity is no surprise. But Judy Jocelyn, Tony's first female student, is an unusual addition to the world of town criers. So, Judy, you're a woman on the course. Isn't that unusual? Yes, I think it is, but this is the 1990s and uh, this is traditionally a male orientated um, occupation and um, you know, it's, it's nice if you can do that, break the mould, be brave and you know, get out into it. Having put all Tony's teachings into practice, it's time for the reckoning. OK, Tony, put me out my misery. How did I do? Well, when you first started, I didn't think it was a chance in hell, but congratulations, there's your scroll, Kevin, you're part. You're joking, yeah. really? Oh, nice one, Tony. Yes! Thank you. 